you may spot some ducks and you'll see plenty of exercising. Just keep your eyes open for sights like this. I just saw what I thought was one big snake and I looked down and it's probably 10 to 20 different snakes. Christine Prophet says she was down towards the water along the rocks. She does her walks early in the morning and spotting snakes isn't that uncommon. I tend to see at least, you know, one to five snakes every morning. I get there early, but got a late start this morning and um, got a little warmer and they were all out there sunbathing in a little ball, a big ball. Naturally, she snapped some pics before booking it away from the snuggling snakes. We showed her photo to several people at Little Sugar Creek Greenway Monday night. <laughs> I don't like snakes. Not cool, right? No. That worries me. That worries me a whole lot. It looks fake. Like, it doesn't... I don't know. They're doing something funky there. Funky may be one word to describe it. We're told this group of slithering serpents is likely a mating ball. Snakes are coming out of hibernation, and they're beginning to mate. So they're sunning in very obvious places. It explains why this group was spotted out here in the open Monday. But if you happen to come into contact with a snake, take something like a broom or maybe a rake and just ease the snake away. They're not looking for trouble. And neither are these people. But what would you do if you did see some? I keep on running. It gives me the, the willies. They scare me. <laughs> Our original snake spotter isn't too concerned whether it's one snake, two snakes, or 20. She's getting her exercise in. I don't like snakes. I'm terrified of them. But it still hasn't deterred me from going. I mean, I'll probably still go tomorrow morning.